right. Welcome everyone to the very first episode of Game Mode 4D. This is the fourth iteration of the Game Mode 4 public server, which features Game Mode 4 modules that add things to vanilla Minecraft, created by Sparks and Crazy Man of Accidental Games, as well as their entire team of many, many people who have aided this entire process in various ways. Now, I don't know much about Game Mode 4D. We've been speculating for months. There have been theorist teams created about this as to speculate world generation, what types of, of new items are going to be in the game, new modules on the server, etc., etc. And finally, today, it has been released, and I am about to log on to the server for the very first time several hours after its release. Now, there are 16 people online. Spawn could already be chaos? I'm not sure. We're just going to have to play it by ear as we log in. And let's go! There's a book that we have. Dearest Audrey. Dearest Audrey, I hope that this book reaches you safely and isn't intercepted, for I have something of utmost importance to tell you. I am gone, but not lost. You see, I have discovered something truly astonishing a new method of traveling that will take us far from home and allow us to see the vast wonders that are out there waiting to be discovered. You and I, Audrey, will be pioneers, like the explorers of old. So much to see, to discover, and to create, for you will find strange sights and even stranger rules. I won't explain more in case eyes other than yours are reading this. Besides, I don't think you'll believe me until you try it for yourself. Instead, I have attached instructions for the building of my traveling mandala on another page. Whoa! Commit it to memory, burn the page, build the mandala. I'll be waiting for you. Oh, whoa! What is this? Click to examine. Oh, it's gonna open up the web page, but looks like there's a crafting recipe of, of six flint and bone meal. But it looks like any die goes in here. I can't exactly tell what's going on here either. That's interesting. This... So, looks like we're here. Are we in some sort of, of, of world? We have to get six flint. And it, it looks like this is what we have to create. I keep thinking I hear something. <gasps> a mandala. Worldview destroyed. You've discovered your first link. Click mandala particles to travel. Right click to travel. Welcome to Game Mode 4D. That was like the trial and tribulation, I suppose. Huh. That's really weird. Mandalas, 10 iron each. So that's a mandala. Everything is already claimed around here, it looks like. It looks like everyone is, is, that's interesting. There's a hill over there. It looks like that's already been claimed. There are huge sky bases. I don't know why, but I should probably claim something right around here and then make a base a little, I think I'll do something in the town right now to the mining dimension. What's the mining dimension? We Advancement made going down? 
What is what is going down? You have discovered this link. What is this? Right click to travel. <laughs> now where are we going? Is this a a mining dimension? Oh my god. Whoa. That's interesting. This glowstone here too. That's really cool. That's so cool. This is a mining dimension. Everything's faded here. That's so cool. Ah. Oh. So I assume once we right click that we go back to the regular dimension, maybe? I, I, I hope. That's so weird that everything is faded. Let's just take a vine down here. Are there any mobs in this dimension? I don't I don't see any, which is very suspicious. Also there's a cool resource pack. Jeez. That goes all the way down to water. Huh. Yeah, I don't see any mobs. Just kidding. Oh my god. What are you? What are you? What are you? Oh, you just get mandalas from... Okay, so it's... It's it's obvious that these mandalas are, are common items. Oh, these mushrooms are going to come in handy for making soup. Oh, if I had bowls, I could make them. <gasps> Iron, okay. So it appears... Oh, there are these water towers. Oh, there's a zombie over there. Let's mine this up. This is very interesting. It seems that resources are, are very hard to come by. The witches have no eyes, either. That's not creepy at all. It's a very ingenious system of, of food management. Because as long as you have the bowls to replenish, the stew, you can make infinite stew as you keep mining. That's... what is this? You've discovered this link. What is at last the sky? That's lava. I wonder if diamonds have to be discovered lower? Because everything is... Now can I teleport here? Or do I have to go lower? Oh, I have to go down more. Ooh, there's gold down here. Oh! But I don't have an iron... D ah! Dang it. You. Do that. Let's just leave that there. I want to get that gold. Because any early game resources are going to be helpful in this case. I wonder if when you teleport between the two dimensions, if you are teleported between the exact same spots that you left off at because that would be interesting and and the, uh, it would be extremely beneficial as well also I like how the glowstone is right up on the surface oh there's wood down here oh there's wood down here I can go grab it is this an abandoned mine shaft oh it's a dungeon too I hear mobs. Are they around this corner or something? Or are they down? Ooh. Oh, is that an alternate dirt texture? That's interesting. Okay, I need to block this up with cobblestone because I can... Oh, jeez. Oh, no. We need to get in there somehow without... Oh, boy. Yeet. Okay, we need to... Oh, no. Oh, boy. Is that a chest? It is a chest. Let's go investigate. See what's in there. See if what loots we can find. <gasps> whoa! Oh, whoa! Oh, wow. Okay. 
Hold on. Fool's starter shirt, set on fire, torn to bits, and still restitched. Let's put that on. Fighter's mesh sandals. Good traction when walking in the mud, otherwise uncomfortable. Let's put that on. And now we have certain things. Iron nuggets. Stale bread. The mold you can pick off. Uncraftable potion. Lore 2. Actually, I need that. I want that glowstone dust. Cold check. We don't really need that. Name tags. And iron. Huh. So the, these are highly customized chests. But I want to get back. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take the minecart, too. I'm taking the minecart. There we go. <laughs> I want the minecart. At this at this early stage in the game, uh, you can't really be too unprepared for anything. Okay, let me take this torch. And let's go our merry way. Because I want to find that dungeon that I found earlier. Let's do this. Let's make a pair of iron leggings and put that on. Do I have slowness? Oh, <gasps> weighted armor. You can't have more than five armor points, I think. Actually, can I infiltrate from above? Technically. Okay, they're just gonna fight each other at this point. Oh, jeez, he hit me. I need to go one lower. This is not going to be fun. Did he not notice me? Outside their field of view. If I do this, I'm sure to be within their field of view. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Okay. Awful Operation Infiltrate Spawner complete. Let's get the heck out of here. Go back to doing the uh, various invasion tactics we tried before. Oh, we have weighted armor on the server now. That's, um... Got him. Uh-oh. Can I just make a run for it? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my God. Not a smart move on my end. I just want what's in that dungeon chest, and then I should probably go back. What am I at? Y equals 18? Okay. Ooh. Please fight each other. <sighs> Got them. They're gonna fight each other now. Nice. Nice. Okay. I love that update where if all mobs, regardless of what, what type they are... Uh-oh. I don't want to run out of food down here. That's not a good place to run out of food at. Got him. Is that it? Oh, there's one left. Okay, he's dead. Okay. I think we can successfully do this. And ooh. New stuff. Iron. Fool standard pants. Miner's plain tea. If the shirt was a spice, it would be flour. Actually, I need that. Let's put this back. Wooden sword. Iron axe. Unbreaking two. Skeleton skull. Yeah. I can put the mossy cobblestone back. Iron nugget. Bones. I can put the gravel back. Potato. Consumption gives plus five gullibility. Honest. Just try it. Interesting. So, so now, we have to take this off. I mean, we don't have to, but let me get my mandala in my hand.
We need to go down even further to bedrock. Ooh, another chest. Accidentally discovered. Ooh. Bunch of water bottles. Can't take it, though. I can take this. I can take these. Soup and go. I have pants. Full standard this thorns. I'm going to go over here. Line down to bedrock. Hopefully that will be what it takes to get back. Deeper and deeper. You have discovered this link. What? Oh, where are we going now? It's a cobblestone. Is it going to take me back to the... Whoa! Please tell me we're back to the main world. Please. No, we're not. Where are we? Now we're at 246. Okay, I'm at the top of the mining dimension. Now if I right-click, I'm probably going to end up going to the back, or the bottom. Oh my god. Whoa. Oh my god. That was close. But now I'm at 13. Are the particles here? Here they are. Please don't kill me. Please. That will not be a fun thing. I had half a heart. I just... Now I'm probably going to be back in the overworld. So, after I was killed by the Mandala, which has been a confirmed bug by Spider, one of the admins of the server, they're actually working to fix it, and the server, as of this recording, is going to shut down for about an hour or so, later tonight, to fix this bug, along with some other ones. I was able to get most of my items back, some are in the chest over there, which I will show you in a sec. But the most important items, courtesy of Transport Layer. Hi. Why? Oh. <laughs> um. Alrighty then. Don't know why you wanted to die there. But, uh, anyway, as I was saying, shout out to Transport Layer specifically for being the staff member to get my items back. And if we walk over here, this is just my roughly one chunk plot that I set aside for myself. It's very close to the town center, so it should be convenient for a starter home as well as just a base of operations as the server gets into later stages. However, people don't know how to treat other people's property and clean up after what looks like four separate creeper blasts and soon to be a fifth. But this is just my private chest, and hopefully next episode we will venture into the Aether, which is another one of the dimensions discovered. There has also been a Lush dimension discovered, which is like a very green and uh, tree-covered dimension, but that one has a high rate of death associated with the mandala when you exit it. So we're not going to travel into that one until the bug that I just mentioned earlier has been fixed. And there's also a mountain one. Apparently if you travel to the bottom of the Aether, you will find a world that looks much like this one, except it has much more mountainous terrain. And there are apparently two mining worlds, so we may have been cycling between both of them earlier, and that was why we couldn't get out. And I believe that's it for all the dimensions discovered as of the time of this recording. But, thank you. If this guy wants me to hit him again... Okay, good. <laughs> thank you so much for watching this first episode of Game Mode 4D. It's already shaping up to be a really cool series. And especially next episode when we go to the Aether. Maybe it'll look like the Aether from the mod several years ago. I have no idea. But... If you want to see more of this series, hit that like button down below, and shout out to Accidental Games, Crazy Man and Sparks, and the rest of their team for making this entire server possible. Months in development. 
Once again, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye!